Hello there, Sagittarius. Your fellow fire sign Aries is having a new moon. Ha! Ah, yes. So manifesting time, time to create some powerful energy for yourself. Well, I'm looking at the cards to find out what you need to keep in mind for having the greatest potential for manifestation. In like to, for, we're constantly manifesting, just sometimes we're manifesting things that we don't necessarily actually want. So we want to be conscientious about what we're creating at this powerful time of year. It's really important to keep yourself in a positive, grateful space. I want to, before I start talking about these cards that came out, I do want to um, mention that if you're not already subscribed, please do so because I post readings two or three times a week, short, sweet, to the point kinds of readings. When they come down through your feed, if you're already subscribed, they'll be coming through your feed and you can decide whether or not that reading is for you when it comes along, but you won't even have the chance if you're not subscribed. So do go ahead and do that. Okay, so here is some... Okay, does that card look happy? Does that card look happy? Does that card look happy? What is up with that? All these, all three cards came up. I feel like they're all victim cards. This is like, I'm a victim of the universe, right? This is, I never get what I want anyway. And this is, they broke my heart. So I got three victim cards here. It's like, boom, boom, boom. Choose which one best fits you, Sagittarius. <laughs> It could be any of them. It could be all of them. But all, they're all the vibration of, it's not my fault. And I just I, I just did Scorpio's reading, and it was like, Scorpio was like, save the BS for somebody else. Don't tell me it's not your fault. Okay? I get to be that person for you, Sagittarius. Now, sometimes people do messed up things to each other. It's true. that Sometimes there's messed up things that happen. I've had messed up things being, I've had things done to me that were not fair. However, I did have the ability to get away from that. I did have the, the ability to be responsible for myself, and therefore I wasn't always a victim. Um, that, like you're never totally a victim. You can get away from things. You can take control of a situation. It might be very slow, depending on what your situation is. It might be very slow to progress, to get to what you want but you do have the power to do it if you really want to, okay? So when you pivot that victim energy to being responsible for yourself, the universe will take heed. The universe will know, and it will start giving you more of what you do want instead of all of this. Uh, all this victim mentality will only bring you more things to be, a vic to be victimized by. But when you switch to, I can take responsibility, the energy of, I can take responsibility for my, for what happens to me, I can take responsibility for my reactions to all of that, you're going to be given opportunities to be the opposite, to be a person that gets, gets positive stuff in their lives, okay? So, people are yelling outside, I guess that, that means it's time for me to get off. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Sagittarius. Love you. Let's create a positive space for more positivity to come, come in.